there. This is uh, Dr. Uh, Moin Hasib again with lesson two on quality management program for clinical laboratories. In lesson one, if you recall, uh, we discussed the following topics. Why do you need a QM program? Okay, who is responsible for it? Uh, we define the key elements of uh, QM uh, program per CLI and CAB requirement. And in lesson two, we will be covering what are the criteria for evaluating the effectiveness of your own QMB. And I will give you an example of uh, QMB. What are the criteria for evaluating the effectiveness of your own QMB and how often? Okay, you need to incorporate your QMB uh, program in your daily routine and processes. How? It is part of your mission, needs to be part of your mission, vision, and goals. It is everyone's responsibility and priority. It should be relevant to your operation. It should be meaningful to your laboratory. Also, the result of the analysis is shared and implemented by everyone, okay, with everyone. The threshold and targets are defined, corrective action is taken, long-term assessment is indicated as needed, and timetables are, are met. The long-term impact of the improvement is documented. How? You need to define the time horizon lines, define criteria for assessment, uh, the calendar, the threshold or the goals, uh, changes in practice, and the outcomes. You need, uh, you need to give feedback, or you need feedback mechanism for the QM plan and program. You need, uh, how do you do that? By uh, doing presentations, by formal requests, like, uh, uh, emails or memos, informal communication like on the phone or chatting um, and you need, uh, it needs to be driven by the outcomes. You need to maintain the interest needed for long-term success. How is that? Keep it relevant, keep people engaged, introduce some fun in the, in the process, keep it part of the daily routine, Encourage all to bring up concerns if they have them, okay? How often you need to evaluate your uh, QMB program? You need to evaluate it yearly. Uh, if you recall, uh, I told you that the, rev the, the review of the, of the policies and procedures for your laboratory need to be done every two years by the medical director or designee except for the quality management program. It needs to be reviewed and updated uh, yearly. And there must be a revision, as I will describe to you in a few minutes. A summary, a QM uh, program are in, in constant evaluation, consistent review and revisions are necessary. Like I said, it needs to be evaluated and revised every year. QMP are all inclusive, relevant, or effective. The goal of the QMP is to promote an environment centered around patient staff safety and quality patient uh, care. Each section need a QMP. You need to have one for the whole lab, and each section will need its own QMP. If it's a section on the organizational chart, then it needs one. I am gonna give you an example, okay, for a QMP, but before we do that, I need you to read this if you can. Yes, it says quality is a journey, not a destination. Okay, this is an example of quality management program that I have. As you can see here, this is a, a template where you put the number of, the, of it, the effective dates and everything, and prepared by, reviewed by, and approved by, okay? 
So in, two, in, in 2020, you need to uh, review and revise uh, this, um, um, this CQMB plan, okay? So I'm going to tell you about uh, what you need to change in this one. I probably will be able to, to, to give you this, okay, for your own uh, laboratory if you like to, to, to use it. Okay, and I'm gonna tell you about the sections that you need to change. Okay, you need to change. Uh, I'm gonna tell you about the sections that each section in your laboratory need to change. You can take this uh, as is. The red ones, you either need to change for the lab gen and you need to change for the, uh, for the uh, each section QMP. Okay, so. Here you put your uh, anything in red you need to, to update. So here, the purpose, you leave alone, okay? The organization, you need to change, you need to update your vision, your mission, your values, your goal, okay? The objectives also, the scope of service, you need to update, okay? Put your institution uh, name, and include only the sections that you have in your uh, in in your laboratory. For example, if you don't have a molecular, then you take the molecular the molecular molecular out. Okay, just keep the sections that you have. I also update the hours of operation. All section nine need to be updated. Okay, and um, we go on and move on to job descriptions. Also, you need to update that and revise it according to the job descriptions you have. For example, if you don't have a chairman, then you don't include, you need to uh, remove. Uh, you need to uh, include your own functions and responsibilities uh, for, each, uh, for each one of the uh, people you have above, okay? So if you remove the chairman from up here, from this list, you remove him again from, from uh, the function and responsibility uh, list, okay? We keep moving on to equipment and instruments. You leave it alone. You don't need to change anything unless you, you, uh, you want to, but it's applicable to everybody, okay? You leave that. We go on to the... Next section, 13, supplies and client customers. You need to modify that according to what you have and according to who's responsible for what, okay? Uh, number 14, procedure control. You should leave it, uh, you should leave it alone. Proficiency testing, you need to update according to what you do and according to the proficiency testing that you, uh, you have, okay? Test validation, you leave alone because it's the same for everybody. Documents and records, also number 17, you leave it alone, okay. Uh, occurrence management, 18, you leave it alone unless you have something different than what I wrote. The assessment and audits, you need to um, change according to what you do. For number 20, process performance improvement, you leave alone, okay. And 21 physical facility and safeties you can leave alone also, as is. You don't need to modify. For um, section safety officers, if you don't have them, then you remove that. If you have them, you leave. For information management and laboratory information system, you need to talk about your system if you have. If you don't have one, then you uh, don't include that. Customer service and satisfaction, you leave alone, okay? And then you have your attachment. You need your organizational chart in here. For your references, these are my references. If you have a different references, using a different references, you need to up, uh, update. So that's my QMB, uh, QMB program example for, uh, for you. I'm done with this subject quality management program for clinical laboratories.
for the next subject, please go to implementing a document control program in your laboratory. Thank you very much for watching.